The potential job losses at Air Australia add to a growing list of high profile cuts across the country. While officially the unemployment rate fell last month, workers in several sectors are feeling far from positive about the future. 106 job cuts in Sydney from one of Australia's favourite underwear brands doesn't fit too comfortably with the unions. They've been loyal workers, good workers, they've done the right thing for their company uh, and this is how they treat them. Just treat them like crap. Bonds is relocating its distribution operations to Melbourne where it hopes to create a similar number of new positions. That's uh, in many ways fate worse than death, isn't it, to be consigned to go to Victoria. The company delivered the news the same day Qantas announced it was axing 500 jobs and putting another 2,000 under review. Qantas has to change. Where there are inefficiencies in our operation, they have to be removed. These job losses are a disaster for the workers and uh, I fear they are a bad sign for the future. The opposition says Air Australia's announcement today is another sign of the turbulent times ahead. The government is making it harder by, for example, imposing a carbon tax. The fact that you could try and link the carbon tax to the uh, stuff going on with Air Australia I, I don't think reflects well on you. Fortunately for the government, the job losses aren't reflected in the official figures. According to the latest data, Australia's unemployment rate is actually heading down. Australia has more people working than ever before in our history. This is, I think, a cause for um, at least some pleasure. In January, more than 46,000 new jobs were created, forcing the rate down to 5.1%, its lowest level since July last year. The statistics for one month were OK, but the statistics for the whole year were pretty dire. The outlook for the rest of this year is just as grim. Caltex has just revealed 800 positions are under threat and a short time ago Billabong announced 400 job cuts, 80 of them in Australia. Alex Hart, 7 News.